Welcome back to Wothan and welcome aboard the M56 Scorpion. And this is RB here on a desert map. And well, the gameplay in the background is not too spectacular. However, maybe you will see it right now. I think the graphics have improved. If I'm not mistaken, this is 4K quality now, at least on the recording end. I record with Shadowplay, so it might get a bit blurry from what I've heard. Uh, people talking about, you know, the quality of certain recording programs. However, then I render it in the best possible way that I can. Um, you know, also between uploads, time and quality, I have to make a little compromise. But I think this looks a bit better. The reason for that is I got a new monitor. The reason for that is the old one broke down, I gave it to repair, I used it again and five minutes into watching a YouTube video, it broke down again. So I was kind of not very amused. I went back to the school, uh, store and changed it. So I got home, then I had a break for about a week, which I will make a video on, which has nothing to do with gaming. and. That actually is the reason why I make this video. This is the first match that I had within a week. So the first time playing War Thunder at all. Um, I think the interesting thing is that I had a break. That I can now go into the game and just, you know, without any trouble, just have fun in the game again. And I think that is something that I needed, because I was like, I don't like this, I don't like that, that should be changed, this should be different. And now I go just simply back into the respading process of certain vehicles, try my best, try to get good footage, which I then can try to, you know, tell you how I take on the playstyle of certain vehicles and the really great thing about the m56 scorpion is that it is practically spaded just a newly added smoke shell is missing and also i think this is a very interesting vehicle overall let's just talk about the m56 scorpion 7.1 ton 7.1 tons of weight 200 horsepower engine Top speed 45 kilometers an hour. So decent stats overall. The top speed could be a bit better, but the overall acceleration, horsepower to ton ratio, ground resistance stats, maneuverability, mobility, they are really great, I think. The armor is practically not existent. The heat shell that you can unlock is not a definitive uh, I win button. However, it is in combination with the APHE shell, a fantastic duet of weaponry that you can carry with it. And the shell selection is also limited because you just have 29 rounds overall. So King Tiger is aiming at me, I just wiggle around and he shoots just over me, maybe at the tanks behind me and I then have all the time in the world to aim, get a critical strike into him and another M56 finishes him off, probably with an APHE shell from the side. And this is why I personally think that this vehicle, despite relying to a certain degree in the spaded playstyle on the heat shell, is not that brutal to spade than, for example, some of the higher tier medium tanks like the Patton's. Because you are so tiny, you are so agile, that you just simply can scoot around the battlefield and go on with flanking fire. It's a bit of a problem to then get to the APHE shell, but it's a tier 1 unlock if I remember correctly, so not that terrible. So, I just want you to tell me if you think that the footage looks better now. Um, or if you think, yeah, it, it was good enough before that, or whatever, or if you think that the FPS are suffering because of this, obviously uh, my graphic cards has my graphic card now has to do more work, 
maybe it's time for a new one but it's, it's still good enough you know and there are other things that I have to pay for as well so yeah and overall the previous videos that I made I prepared five videos just for you um, to be released where I am not while I am not playing the game I hope you enjoyed them and uh, the feedback so far was pretty okay so the average gameplay that I used um, is okay for you know covering some time obviously it was not the best games possible but they also had their charm I guess that's why I picked them to make post commentary on them to upload them and to give you something while I'm not there to play the game and give you the freshest YouTube videos that there are so now I just simply change the flank within seconds I guess and I try to go to A because I think that the remaining tanks of the enemy team are around about there there the most combat happened I have not seen any activity behind me so far and at some point there is no more map where the enemy tanks could be except they would stay in the spawn of course I play with the thought of sniping the plane but the gun handling on the M56 Scorpion is really bad so yeah I, I don't take the chances this is a vehicle that operates very best behind enemy lines it can hide itself remarkably well it can change its location very very fast it's very maneuverable and agile and that is the key aspect for this vehicle other nations just have difficulties looking for something similar yes there is the RA251 for the Germans but that is premium and still plays different I think it just isn't quite as uh, nimble and can't get out of situations like this one so I aim at the ammo rack of the T34 uh, T44 but I just did not quite manage to do that and then with the next shot aiming for the turret crew I save my teammate in the T34 or T32 I'm sorry so when I just played this game I really enjoyed it and I asked myself why not more of that and to be honest there was a thought process just quickly involving into in my head and it actually brought me back to the actual yeah problem of RB if the nations amongst each other are not balanced or it is very difficult to balance them then why not use a different mode if you have a battle rating area where you think in RP you are not comparable with that nation including CAS then why not go to another mode like Arcade where this inequality isn't there and the last time I excessively played uh, Arcade it was dominated by the Russians and by the Germans and the Germans, to be honest, don't have too much difficulties killing each other. That's uh, that's the theme, I guess. So, all you King Tiger drivers, if you are fed up with the idea of getting killed by post-war tanks and planes that there shouldn't be or whatever, then go to Into Arcade. It has its own difficulties. It's also very challenging. However, again, the last time I played Arcade, the rewards were quite comparable maybe even better so I killed the T44 and then capped the zone and now I look for the last enemies at this moment I'm not quite sure if I should bail out and go into an aircraft try to either find the enemy player in the air or just simply rocket it even with a normal average uh, American fighter you very often find that they have rockets that are at least good enough for three strikes against ground targets of course and with the recent 50 cal buff well you really can't complain getting into a fight with another plane 
except if you fight turn fighters in your boom and zoom aircraft or energy fighters well it's always a trade-off but then it helps that in rb there are no markers not even for aircraft so you can take your chances if you are bold enough and experienced enough and not just flying around blind so at this point the last enemy was killed it's an asu 85 or it was an asu 85 or it was one of the last players i don't quite remember however that is the end of the game and i was just driving around sadly at some point you know you can't rack up the kills uh, even if you are in a good position if there are no enemies left and that is quite the case right here i was lucky to get first to the t44 and actually not end up in front of him so um the match was overall enjoyable it was the first match after i came home let me know in the comment section also if you think that it looks better than previous videos i'm, I'm very interested in that and the post battle results are actually not that bad for three kills two zones captured and two enemy kill assists i got thirty thousand silver lines and 5214 rp for the smoke shell and you can see it's not the worst um, progress and i'm quite happy with that so that was my first game and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i uh, liked it playing it and thanks for watching thanks for listening please give this video a like with it subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other on the battlefields of war thunder